around to play ball so we could ruin them. Mama said that it was okay. Mama said that it was quite alright. I kind of people had a bed for the night. And it Alright, good morning, it's Monday. Get the combine fueled up. Ready to go. Start cutting some more decob 115 day. See what she see what it's like today. I'm gonna go try to cut my farm, open it up, see what the pioneer 115 day is. That's what we're game plan is. My brother, he's getting the loader out. We got a hole, we had a bunch of rain. We had a hole over a tile that we filled. And then we got a whole bunch of rain that washed it out a little bit. So he's going to go put a little bit more dirt over it for the trucks to get in and out today. And we're going to start cutting.
brother coming back. So my brother, Alex, decided to turn the truck around in the wettest part of the farm. Instead of this big hill up here, as you can see there's mud there, look at all the water. Mud there, look at all the dark, that's mud and water. So, and he got her stuck. So now we got to pour out. See the truck, see the mud. All that mud. There you go, Sheila. Do something with your boy. We're going to pour out. That yeah, shit happens. Go. All right, I just got this little bit left on this field today. <clears throat> Call it a, a full day's work. Go relax after this. Try some different fields tomorrow. Alright, make sure you like, subscribe, whatever. Give me some more subscribers. I'm trying to be entertaining as I can, so. Got one more load to cut, two more bins to finish a load, and that'll be done for today. And then start back at it again tomorrow try to find some might search around find some drier corn so anyway see ya. <clears throat> there goes Rizzo he's off with another load I opened up the field right there and it's actually drier than this field right here was so he just brought me an empty truck so I'm gonna go ahead and load that bad boy up <laughs> I've cut a big opening up there so I can move them trucks up, up front. Got the old 4440 with the mower. Alright, I'm letting Miss Eastern Shore Farmer drive my pickup. I just got the wheels and tires on. We just did pick it up. She is driving it home. This is gonna be probably the only time she gets to drive it, so. So that's why she's driving it now. But man, them wheels and tires definitely make a big difference on that thing. We worked hard to get that. I love that pickup now. That's what you call a lifer pickup for now on. It's gonna be mine for 20 years probably. I'm very extremely happy. Just did get them wheels and tires put on. We just did pick her up. Just showing y'all. I hope she don't run into anything on the way back. Health officials and the president himself had long insisted, Dr. Fauci included, that they would never force vaccines on the public. I don't think you'll ever see a mandating a vaccine, particularly for the general public. You cannot force someone to take a vaccine. We cannot require someone to be vaccinated. That's just not what we can do. Perhaps the federal government should step in and issue mandates. And that's not the role of the federal government. No, I don't think it should be mandatory. I wouldn't demand to be mandatory, but I would do everything in my power. It's like I don't think masks have to be made mandatory nationwide. Mm -hmm.